everyone. Here is the end result of our RV trailer bathroom remodel. I will give you multiple directions. There's my fiance standing right there. <laughs> I don't come with the trailer. You have to get your own. <laughs> Here is a nice cheapo mat we got from Fred Meyer. Ties everything together pretty nice. So doorway to the bathroom. I'll give you the other direction. Sorry if that makes you dizzy. Here's the finished bedroom, which if you want to watch that video, you can. It is on the channel. Okay. Anyway, all right, here we go. So we painted the inside walls, the, the off-white paint color that we did. We weren't sure how it was going to look with the shower being super white, but it ended up coming together pretty good. Um, got a little bath mat there. The black accent wall worked out really nice and as you may have seen in the remodel video i talk about pee on the wall it is something people don't want to talk about but in an rv i will show you hold on these toilets do not have water in them so you know the anatomy of peeing anyone standing and peeing it will splash and it does get on the wall so i got a glossy paint um, then that way I can put cleaner on it and wash it frequently so you don't get that trailer pee smell. I told her not to do it. <laughs> I don't know why she stands up to pee. <laughs> okay, so we have this towel rack that we got. It works out pretty nice. It's a wrought iron towel rack um, for some towels. And put a little plant hook in there. These are some custom made shelves by my fiance. Um, they are a live wood edge wood cookie. We put some supports on there. Now, if you're nervous about putting screws into the wall, see how we have supports on everything. The trailer walls are very weak and very thin. So we highly suggest if you do want to hang anything that is slightly heavy, plus with moving around and jostling, um, those holes get loosened over time. You just really want to have a good support on it because they'll get loose and then they'll just fall off. Um, little painting that my fiance made and we've got some toilet paper up there um and some plants came across pretty nice this was the cabinet that originally looked like this one with the mirror hello hi <laughs> with the mirror and we were like we don't need a double mirror so we took this off and this worked out great as a display um little cabinet area we can have storage in here and in there and make it look nice um this plant right here in case my little plant nerds is called a wandering jew um, and I don't know if I could say that, but my fiance is Jewish, so he said it's fine. <laughs> so, anyway, they do fantastic in the bathroom. One warning I want to give you about trailer bathrooms. We have a dehumidifier running 24 seven and no matter what you do, um, you, it, there's so much humidity in a trailer. Um, so the bathroom gets the most of it and plants that absolutely love humidity do fantastic in your trailer. So we've got these little command hooks to help with vine growth. Um, we hung a little towel hook up there. Um, and then here's the shower. We really didn't do much to the shower other than paint this. And this is what I was talking about. This We weren't sure if this was going to look weird having that off-white color with the white making it look dirty. But we actually like it. It kind of came out pretty good. Just makes the shower pop a little bit. Um, we thought it would have been weird to just do like off-white here and then white there. So that's kind of what we came up with. Here is uh, the shower organizer. I don't know if I can get this. Let me see how far away I can stand. So got this on Amazon. It's a great option for shower organizing in a very small space. Um, it just kind of hooks on the top and it's one of these trailer glass sliding doors. So it works perfect. You can suction cup it in the back here, which we do sometimes and it'll keep it to stay, but um, it'll just hang on top. If not, um, I would, we plan on taking this off when we travel and just putting it down on the ground. So I would suggest that. Um, okay. And then put a little, little words on there. So true by the way. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, got this towel holder from Etsy. Um, it did come with screws, but we, it actually came with an adhesive and it's sticking pretty well so far. So we keep it on there. That is the other thing we learned about the bathroom is that we try to use command strips and adhesives for everything versus putting screws or holes in the wall, um, because of the thin walls and because of traveling around, but because of the humidity in the bathroom, almost everything we would hang, like we originally hung this picture with command strip picture holders that can hold 12 to 15 pounds. Well, we came home one day and it was on the ground. <laughs> so 
we learned that the bathroom, the humidity does not really allow a lot of command strips to stick. So we, we go with screws, but this one, this one's holding on pretty well. Whatever adhesive that came with was pretty good. Um, okay. And then, so we painted the cabinet came out really nice. It has this little display area down here and with the white, it really makes everything pop. So that's cool. <laughs> Just ignore all my soaps and vitamins. But anyway, this is our inner cabinet. We may get little like organizers and make this a little more organized eventually, but right now it's working. Um, these are some custom made shelves by my fiance. Here's another wandering Jew, um, plant, which is fantastic. And, uh, but same thing as before he put supports down here and then this solid block of wood. So we have these little, this little nook and we were going to use there's shelves, actually command strip shelves that are about that big that we were going to use. But again, we were just having so much trouble with the adhesive in the bathroom. So we didn't go with that. I've got a little over here for my plant grows. Um, and then the counter, we just kept it simple, you know, some organizers on there. And again, the off white came out really good. So it may look really nice. Now, the only thing we noticed and here's for my other trailer remodel people that want to attempt this, I'm going to show you this right here. Okay. See that? spot so we painted it we sanded it we did all the things let me see if i can get in closer for you we did all the things that people suggested and everything went really well but there's about two spots there's a spot there and a spot down here that the paint is just kind of chipping and so what we're thinking is is you know the paint sticks pretty well but we know every few years we're gonna have to either spot check it or we're gonna have to repaint spots but so far so good so anyway there is the renovated bathroom feel free to comment for questions and we plan on showing the rest of our trailer remodel next up photo wall photo wall and we are going to paint this wall right here and take this down and create something on top of it and some sort of version of a curtain and we will show you guys that when we get there stay tuned all right bye